Hi guys, I just want to talk about Laplace transforms for a moment and show you how the differential equations made easy app can perform the Laplace transform for you step by step and then actually also use it to solve differential equations. So I'm going to go through these items here real quick. Laplace transform, you can type in any equation in terms of t say sine of uh, 7t and you can see how the Laplace transform is set up first of all the integral here and then you see the evaluated integral here and um, and then afterwards you see how the bounds are being uh, included into the antiderivative to then eventually end up with the Laplace transform. Notice if you change the original function immediately your answer changes. Okay, the 3 was added here, here, here. Okay, and that of course works for any function and it works real quick. Okay, so here we go. So that's how you do step-by-step -step Laplace transform. Um, also, instead of doing the interval f using the interval from zero to infinity, you can determine your own interval. Okay, if you want to go, let's say, from zero to three um, of sine of t, you will end up step by step again with this Laplace transform. So, of course, if you would uh, enter here infinity, you would get uh, what we had before. Um, we can also, of course, do the Laplace transform of a unit step function. Just to uh, indicate the shift that you want to use, let's say shift of 3, then you see the uh, definition of the unit step function here, and the Laplace transform of the unit step function is then uh, shown right here. You change the shift, you change the Laplace transform immediately right here. Of course we also have a table of Laplace transforms that shows all the rules okay, of uh, the most common Laplace transforms. So that's a nice way for you to look up the definitions. We have the same of course also for Fourier transforms. Uh, lastly let me show you how you then go ahead and solve differential equations using uh, the Laplace transform. So you enter your in this case second order differential equation here. You scroll up and you see how these polynomials are used to um, rewrite a the differential equation and then you actually do the Laplace transforms and yeah after a lot of transformations and simplifications we end up with the Laplace transform of this differential equation as this okay and then if you want to solve the differential equation, you just have to take the inverse of each term separately using the inverse Laplace transform option right uh, here, option 5. So it works like a charm. Remember to see the steps for any function in the world t to the 5, here it is, to the 5 you end up with 120 over 6 to the s, which of course uh, is, can also be seen in the table of Laplace transforms. This is all available in the app uh, Differential Equations Made Easy. Thanks for watching.